Hi, uh, we're at the United States Antarctic Program right now, preparing to hopefully deploy to McMurdo Station in Antarctica. It's been a long journey. Some of us have traveled almost 40 uh, hours by uh, plane uh, through delays, and now we're here. Kirsty, hi. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hi. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thanks very much. We have talented and dedicated technicians that we take to the field. They're very good at being in remote, stressful situations and making sort of rubber band and duct tape type repairs on the fly. I mean, this is a place I've always wanted to go. Well, well yeah. And now yeah. we're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Offshore New Harbor, that area is undiscovered country when it comes to science. Now suddenly we're, we're going tomorrow. It's, uh, I'm really excited now. Hi, Shakira Brown. I'm here. It's October the 9th, um, early in the afternoon. We're at the CDC, which is where you get all your cold weather gear. This is your face mask, your hat. The wolf fox are awesome. Get your goggles. So basically, you're in layers most of the time. From top to bottom, you're in layers. You have to try everything on before you go to make sure it fits you correctly, not too tight, not too loose, because that can actually be a little dangerous once you get on the ice. It took a few minutes, <laughs> some playing, some going back and forth, but I think I'm ready to face the ice. I think it's a good experience for anyone to do, a young person especially when they don't have a lot of commitments to go down to Antarctica and really get that experience. It's a life experience. You ever say, yeah, I'm going to Antarctica, and they're like, what, what for? You always get that look, you know, that strange look. <laughs> I was like, don't worry, Mom. I'm just your, your only son going down to the harshest climate, harshest continent on the face of the earth. <laughs> that didn't help. She just kept crying. Are you worried about being cold at all? Um, w mostly worried about feet, yeah. Yeah, I frost bit the tip of my nose and it, both ears and it popped off. It grows back. Don't worry about it. Someone like me who goes down repeatedly to do research, become a little bit jaded and used to it, but a young person doing this one time and maybe never again, what a, what a great experience, right? <laughs> and so in 24 hours or so we'll be on the plane, and in about 30 hours we'll be looking across McMurdo Sound at the Transantarctic Mountains. Here's to the adventure and to the team. Uh, today we're going to uh, get on a C-17 uh, transport plane and take a five-hour flight to McMurdo. We have been issued our clothing to wear in Antarctica and now we have um, packaged them all up uh, to be loaded onto the plane and hopefully we'll be taken off in a couple hours. The adventure begins again. Yes, it does. Into the, into the breach. There's a lot to be nervous about. This is a a huge undertaking. Just the educational side of it alone is overwhelming at times. About a minute you slip and start beginning slipping into hypothermia, right? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like good, clean fun. It's one of those things that you're never sure about until you jump into it, you get into the midst of it, and you really just, you know, you make it happen. Uh, I worry about, you know, the equipment my equipment, the seismic equipment, you know, breaking down. The last two seasons we had lots of problems but always managed to sort of work through all of those problems. It's okay not to be perfect down there. We're all in a place where uh, we've been ripped away from our loved ones and our everything that's familiar. We're put into a, an environment that's very foreign for most people and so it's going to be a little overwhelming. The thrill never ends for me. Uh, the memories of past adventures and the thrill of knowing that uh, the best one is yet to come. Greatest thrill in the world. That's the defining moment, the minute I hit the ice. It's one of those places where no one gets to go. Not too many people want to go um, because of the harsh climate, but it's, I feel like this is kind of the start of something new. I'm finally here.